and I can yell at people. Because if it's your best friend, you really love your best friend, you would just be like, that's a lot of bullshit. My favorite part of the way I look is my smile. I always did pull up my bootstraps, but while singing Hanson at the top of my lungs. It's a new day. What's up, my name's Aquafina, and I love my voice. I live in a perpetual state of strep throat. They'll be like, Do you, did you want, you know, a holes or did you want, um, but I think for the most part, people just kind of like understand what it is. And I don't really realize it until I hear it back. And I'm like, who's that, Satan? Oh, 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 it's me. But guess what, people will never forget that voice. I think that my voice in music, it definitely carries over, right? Um, I think that when, whenever I sound assertive in real life by yelling at people when I get road rage, I think that definitely carries over to my music. Um, I think it gives off the, the impression that I'm, that I'm confident. My first ever show as Aquafina was um, at Sarah Lawrence College. I was very nervous, and it was the first time kind of interacting with my fans, I guess. And so this girl came up to me and she looked just like I looked in, in college and she um, came to me very earnestly and was like, uh, Aquafina, thank you for doing what you do because um, it's important that you exist. Like, thank you for existing. I love my butt. I do. I, I love my butt. And um, <laughs> that's a crazy, that's a crazy thing to say out loud. I've really always loved my butt, but, but when I started working um, and I was an actress and I would, I would go to fittings and things, it was like I would just not sort of fit into clothes that were available to me. And I remember thinking to myself like, oh man, if I didn't have like, these childbearing hips or whatever, you know. And then when I actually had my children, I was very happy that I had a childbearing hips because that went very well. And then kind of fashion changed, you know, like I didn't change, fashion changed and all the clothes at fittings fit me now. So, thanks Kardashians. <laughs> it doesn't matter, if something doesn't fit you, then it's like the clothes problem. It's not your problem. Like you, you go get a different pair of jeans. You go get a, you know something else to wear, or you just like rip it open. You know, you you don't change yourself for the clothes. To women struggling with body confidence, what what I would say is, um, what would you say to your best friend? If the thoughts that you're having, if you actually articulate them and imagine that it's your best friend saying these things to you, what would you say back in response? Because what I think you would say, because if it's your best friend, you really love your best friend, you would just be like, that's a lot of bullshit. Like, move on. Move on and live your life and enjoy your body. My favorite outfit I ever wore is my costume for Claire in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom because I have really sturdy boots and I have cargo pants and like a, a great t-shirt and then like a like a flannel shirt over that and I just felt sorted. I'm Simone Biles and I love my body. The question I wish people would stop asking me is, how tall are you? Are you gonna grow? I'm not going anywhere, I'm 4'8". I'm stuck. <laughs> it helps with gymnastics and it teaches younger girls to love their bodies as well. I think I've learned to love my muscles a lot more than when I was younger. I got made fun of for my arms a lot. Some people would say like mean things. They used to call me like a soldier. <laughs> At the time, it didn't make me feel the best, so I wore sweaters or jackets all year long. Now I show off my arms all the time. <laughs> to me, healthy body image is when you feel confident with yourself um, in and out. To body shamers, let me say. But I feel like if you love your body, then that's all you can do, so it doesn't matter what anybody else says, so I think they have to learn to fall in love with themselves, and I think it's out of jealousy sometimes. I would actually say Ali Raisman helped me a lot with my body confidence issues. I mean, she's taught me a lot along the way, but most of the time it's just like, love yourself, it doesn't matter if you don't want to wear makeup that day, if you don't want to do your hair that day, you're human too, so do what you like. I'm Jonathan Vaness. I'm the groomer on Netflix's Queer Eye, and I love my spirit. I feel, you know, in the world that we live, when you're a man, you're supposed to just like, as my grandma would say, pull it up by the bootstraps and just put on your brave face and just get through it. And I always 
did pull up my bootstraps, but while singing Hanson at the top of my lungs and really wearing that like tallest Doc Martin that I could save up my money to buy and I couldn't stop talking about Michelle Kwan and Shannon Miller because I just really wanted to be a gymnast or a hairstylist, I didn't care what. Um, I think the key for me for kind of being able to keep my spirit intact and uh, being able to let my spirit shine was taking it like one thing at a time. One thing that my stepdad, who was amazing, always taught me, take is like, what's my next correct decision? Like one thing ahead, like what's the next right thing to do? I think doing that over and over and over again, eventually you're like, how did I get here? This is adorable. To my younger self, I would say, um, unless you're like literally in danger, ask forgiveness instead of asking permission and don't worry so much and just go. Unless you're like in danger and then don't. And then run, girl. Oh, my favorite emoji. Oh, I love the one with the guy where he's like. I love my teeth because I uh, I had headgear, neck gear, like well, braces for two years. My teeth, I had buck teeth. I couldn't even close my mouth. Um, so yeah, it's a new day. Thanks, Dr. Cheney. When I look at old pictures of myself from high school, I think, oh, bless her heart. Oh, God, lover, you you cared about what everybody thought. You put every trend from Contempo Casuals on your body at, at, at one time. God bless you. The favorite part of the way I look is, is that it changes every day. It changes based on my mood that day. So some days I'm Sporty Spice and some days I'm Scary Spice.